as the shrill of Scott Cubitt's whistle brings the minute silence to an end. The junior teams leave the field and we are going to be left in Tenants National League One with Gala and Aberdeen Grammar as the teams form their final huddles and what do you think the message will be out there? So Gala will be a case of remember where you were two weeks ago, bring that same intensity and come back for there. Gala are going to attack the Fairy Dean end in what is at the moment a sun-soaked Netherdale, however it is relatively cold and there is a wee bit of a breeze out here so it's going to be the scrum half, the experienced Lachlan Johnson to get proceedings underway. We are just waiting Scott Cubitt and there it goes. So Gala kick off, Lachlan Johnson's went reasonably long with that, has that gone out on the full? No, it's dropped just inside the touchline and that's turned into a very good okay. early kickoff. Sam. Ball, it's going to be a line out to Aberdeen, Gala, sort of halfway between the try line and the 22 one, and not an Aberdeen hand was laid on that kick. No, exactly. He's, man, he's, he's found the perfect five pence in the corner there, dropped it out and now this is how you test if your warm-up worked properly for Aberdeen. They've got to really get this right from this get-go now. Yeah, and it's the skipper Ben Engels, the 32-year-old, can also play in the back row and he's got his arrows in check there straight away, being cleanly gathered by Aberdeen and they're going to look to clear their lines and that's a kick by the young scrum half Patrick Ritchie and he's made reasonable ground with that it's going to be a line out to Gala over on the far side of this Netherdale stand maybe eight or nine metres outside the, Aber the Aberdeen 22 so a good first attacking platform for Gala here yeah well now it's the exact turn of uh, Kyle Scott there for Gala he's now got to get his arrows in check as well and it's uh, a one for one if you can do it we'll do it better yeah, Kyle Scott, an impressive member of the Gala squad last season. As they so nearly, or they so closely missed out on the title, but it's been gathered in there by Gala, and the, the line-out is inching forward. Liam Scott, the captain it was, and the, 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 the rolling mall is picking up pace here, and it's now into the 22. Looks like young James Glendinning's in there. Now, is he going to be able to get to ground? Yes, he is, a powerful young man, and it's going to be Lachlan Johnson. He's found the new man, Glenn Bruff, down from Orkney. Gala liked the look of him when he was here recently on a trial and now it's taken in by the massive figure that is Marius Tamasi as he makes ground every time he touches the ball. Now here comes McAvena, his first touch. He's a big centre. Centre field just inside the Aberdeen 22 and it's going to be the scrum half Lachlan Johnson again. This time he feeds or again he feeds the prop Glenbruff. A couple early touches for him. Gala inching forward here. Johnson comes back in field towards the posts. Now is there an Aberdeen player lying over the ball there? No. Scott Cubitt is happy enough with that. And it's going to be Ben Gill playing scrum half in off his wing to Harris Rutherford. John Turnbull now 2022 Gala Brawlad Gala not making too much headway here just inside the Aberdeen 22 but they're maintaining possession now it's Harris Rutherford and that's a clean break however and it's out here and it's going to be the first try to Gala the first try to Gala and it's Callum Pate the fullback the new addition from Harrington two tries last time out against Watsonians and that's a third for him and that's an amazing start for Gala Taylor Wilson there with a clean break got through his tackle and then just sent Callum Pate on straight across the try line he did indeed, Taylor Wilson can play in the back row there and he showed a turn of pace, that was a, a nice break by him, a tidy break and with no more than three minutes on the clock it's Gala 5, Aberdeen Grammar nil with a kick to come, Harris Rutherford, he's a right footed kicker, he begins his run up, he's got a decent strike on that, has that gone over, yes it has gone over so the perfect start for Gala, seven points to nil here against Aberdeen Grammar, now Aberdeen with a their first chance to mount an attack and the good hands there taking them up towards the 22 it was Ross Cameron coming at the line from fullback he put boot to ball but it's been mopped up by Gala 10 metres or so inside their own 22 now they'll be looking to clear their lines clearly here as it's going to be hit up by the forwards I thought he might go back to Rutherford who was in the pocket but I think the forwards are going to have a rumble first yes they are it's Johnson again to Kyle Scott now is there a Aberdeen player over that, no it's going to come back on the Gala side, so Gala that's a loose pass but it's been gathered in no it's gone forward, so as we see so often teams score a try then they just go off the boil a wee bit, maybe a lack of con con uh, concentration, but uh, yeah, Aberdeen with a, a chance to attack here deep inside the Gala 22 with a line -out. decent enough shunt by Gala, but here come Aberdeen nudging the playmaker and that's a, a half break and it's come back here to 
number 12, which is Pete Gast, and now it's come back out to full, the fullback. This is the fullback in here. No, he's been held up just short, but it's an Ab Aberdeen knocking on the door here, very much so inside the five metre line attacking this gal line has it come back on the gal side yes it did but illegally so said the referee Scott Cuba stop back you go not discussion just now okay you've got to take a quick tap on the five so you can't go there so head and feet to Aberdeen now here they go again looking to get the shunt on it's held at the number eight's feet but no number eight picks and goes oh he's got a wee bit isolated has he can Gallagher in over that Never no it's going to come back on the Aberdeen side just so in the shadow of the post maybe seven metres from the Gala try line Aberdeen are going to build again the big forwards rumbling forward stealing a metre here and there back now to Johnny Spence the open side flanker Spence gains another metre but Liam Scott's in over that as is his want nope. we've seen a lot of that last season from Liam Scott but again it's come back on the Aberdeen side back again to the big forwards running off their standoff no Sam Nudson no that looks like they're going to, it's going to be the game plan this afternoon Nudson again Nudson's found a runner but again Gala's defence is holding firm for the time being at least Aberdeen are going to set it up again here five metres again from the Gala line good sustained pressure here from the men from the north now they've inched forward four metres or so maybe from the line now rumbling forward all in the forwards as it currently stands it's came back again Scrum half Richie. Richie founds a runner, but again, yeah, manful defence from Gala. Aberdeen knocking at the door here, back in the hands of the captain, Ben Ingalls. He's been prominent in this match so far. A willing carrier. Now the big number eight, Paddy Mulholland, voted their, their, their most improved player last season. That's a big hit on the. Oh, it's been fumbled forward. That's lost forward and that's a letter for Gala. The big second rower was on the charge there and Offside. he tried to reach over the line, but he's fumbled it and Gala were pleased enough. Yep. Yeah, they've got to be happy with that. There was. Oh, sorry. Try there. He must have come back for a penalty there, Robin, and they've taken quickly and gone over the line. Yeah, we didn't see the referee's arm out to indicate that advantage was being played, Sam, but they've certainly came back for a penalty that was maybe five metres from the Gala line and as well as catching us unawares. He's caught half the Gala team unawares as well. The Aberdeen player Sam Nudson is going to attempt this conversion, 17 or so metres in from that far side. Starts his run-up, strikes it. Oh, and he's hit the post. So it remains seven points to five, 14 minutes on the clock, and it's another Aberdeen line-out. It's been palmed back, but it's came back on the Aberdeen side, but it's been fumbled by Nutson. However, it's gone backwards, but it's cost Aberdeen territory. They're back on their own 10-metre line now, but they've cleared out that ruck well. But, oh, the Gala players came through there and caught the nine. Now there's a break on here, and that's going to be a try for Gala, is it? He's going to go in, yes. Taylor Wilson, the second row, and we mentioned before that he's played. He plays a bit of rugby in the back row, and he ran in there from fully... 22 metres, Sam. Yes, that was phenomenal. It was heads up play. I think it was Lachlan Johnson, the nine. He spotted the ball, came out. Uh, the rest of the Aberdeen team was napping. Lachlan Johnson hit him first, got the ball out left. All the Aberdeen players had gone round to their left, respectively, to make the next phase. And uh, Kyle Scott had the heads up play to spot Wilson, sent him on his way, and over the whitewash he goes. Yeah, he's run that in from a from a reasonable distance. Has Taylor Wilson, the youngster from Dunbar. He's a member of the Foz Rock Academy, and he showed his pace there and no lack of ability so it's Gala 12 Aberdeen 5 15 minutes on the clock here at Netherdale with a tricky conversion to come for Harris Rutherford successful his first kick he's possibly got under that Rutherford he, I, I beg your pardon and I apologise to young Harris Rutherford he's struck that sweetly enough to see it clear the posts and ding dong stuff Bang. it's going to be Lachlan Johnson to feed the scrum Aberdeen Maybe had a wee bit of scrum dominance in that first 10 minutes, but Galav held firm there, and it's going to be Johnson. Johnson feeds it to Ben Gill. Ben Gill to Rutherford. Rutherford had Turnbull. And Rutherford found Turnbull, rather, but has that gone forward by Turnbull? Hacked it down the park, and he's after this. So is John Turnbull. Oh, John Turnbull, it nearly came into his grateful hands. But fumble, did it go forward? No, it's came back on the Gala side. Now Angus Dunn. Angus Dunn's into the 22 here. Angus Dunn's got a player outside him. Oh, and it's been fumbled. It wasn't the best pass by Dunn. It was fumbled by James Glendinning, this young back row forward. As an Aberdeen substitute enters the fray, but another, you know, chance potentially gone begging there for Gala. Halfway, you'd say, between their 22 and the Aberdeen try line. Great attacking position from which to try and conjure something. Johnson to the racking ball, McAvener. McAvener's tackled well, however, in the midfield. It's going to come back on the Gala side. Doesn't often lose the ball, McAvener. Now it's with Glenn McCrum. He only knows one way, and that's a good... Oh, it's been ripped 
a sort of the almost slingshot back by Aberdeen and it's come back to John Turnbull. It's Craig Shepard in there with a the good defensive work, but here comes Tamasitis. This massive prop trucks it up. Gala back now in at the 22. It's Rutherford. Rutherford looking for his runners. Back inside it came to come to Callum Pate. Pate set it up here. Here comes the hooker, Kyle Scott, over on that far side. But Scott's been marched back. Good defence that by Aberdeen. Gala 14, Aberdeen 5, 25 minutes on the clock. And that is a penalty coming Gala's way. And they've tapped and gone. It's Lachlan Johnson who's fallen over over his own bootlace. He's there, but he's managed to get the ball away to his captain, Liam Scott. Scott sets it up. There was a kickable penalty there for Gala, but they decided to run it. And then, oh no, it's been stolen again by Aberdeen. And that potentially is three points gone begging. But that's easy for us to say. Sat up here, it's the prop. Yassine Amanash with the defensive duties, but it's came back. It's been kicked by Aberdeen, but they've not made touch. And it's Keith Young, the Gala winger, one of his first touches of this game. But it's a knock on, it's in the tackle. His arm is there in the tackle, it's just a knock on. He's there legally. No, that's not a discussion. Seven or so metres in from that far touchline as we see it in the stand here at Netherdale. Johnson feeds, decent enough scrum by Aberdeen, but here come the Gala backs. Good running there, takes them deep into the Gala 20, the Aberdeen 22, I beg your pardon, it was Callum Pate with the initial thrust, now it's Glenn McCrum with the donkey work. As Aber Aberdeen are in over that. You've not had a clear release. Now what's the referee going to give here? Back you go, that's two penalties there. No, no, I understand, that doesn't happen. Okay. Okay, you've got two penalties in the exact same position. Offside. And Sam, and you'd imagine they'll take the three points here in the shadow of the Aberdeen posts. I think you have to. You have to just really start getting that score. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Curse of the commentator as as they take a scrum. Bye. Split the park. Split the park here with the backs. Some one side, others on the other. So it's been fed by Johnson. It's done with the pickup. Done. Straight out to John Turnbull. John Turnbull pumps the legs towards that G Aberdeen line. It's going to be Johnson again. Johnson Pate had Pate on the run, but it's going to come back to the big second row. Glenn McCrum. McCrum's held up. Gallo lead to recycle this. Has it been pinched by Aberdeen? It's a good counter rug by Aberdeen, but the penalty, the arm comes out by Scott Cubitt, the referee, for a penalty. But it's the scrum half, Lachlan Johnson to feed here. Again, it's given by Dunn, but the pass has gone to ground. It comes to Pate. Now it's Harris Rutherford. Rutherford. Rutherford, oh, Rutherford's dummy and gone, and Rutherford's gone over there, and that is a first-class try by the youngster. That was phenomenal, and it's like we said just before that scrum there, first time Callum went right, it took the whole defence with him, this time Callum stepped right and went left, offloaded to Harris Rutherford, Harris had Keith Young outside him, so the dummy, uh, Aberdeen winger, I believe it was Ewan Sinclair, unfortunately for him, went for a hot dog, and Harris Rutherford went straight over the try line. Scrum to Aberdeen. Six or seven metres outside the Gala 22. That looks like a knock on at the back of this drum. It's been picked up by James Glendinning. Now James Glendinning's on the rampage here. He's going to have to stand side and he's found his mat. Oh no, it's gone to ground, but it's been mopped up by the captain of Gala. And it's now out to Harris Rutherford. Harris Rutherford's got John Turnbull. John Turnbull's got Keith Young. Will Keith Young cut back and score? Keith Young is going to do exactly that. And that is a breakaway try, Sam. And that brings up the bonus point. Wow, that's a bonus point within 32 minutes. You can't ask for more than that. But what a, what a shift by Lackland. Johnson and the Gala back row. I said at the start, the fire department, they're putting everything out. That was a rare time. You see them with the ball, James Glendinning with the goose step and the 25 metre run. Liam Scott and Angus Dunn making sure their teammates getting well supported. And then the backs just do what they do. Crisp, flat passes, sends Keith Young in on the far side of the pitch from us at the big stand. Two and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Going to be another line out. An awful lot of this first half being played over on the touch line. And again, Gal, I've got a hand in there, but it's came back first on the Aberdeen on. side. Second no, it's been knocked on. forward, first of all, by Taylor oh, Wilson as the referee, Scott Cubitt, brings proceedings to a close here at Netherdale in the Tenants National League One. It is Gala 24, Aberdeen 5. As Richie feeds it, it's come back, That's that scrum is as solid as you like and it's Mulholland who picks from the base and goes, but he's wrapped up by the captain Liam Scott. It's came back on the Aberdeen side cleanly enough as they trundle it forward through the forwards, not able to exit the 22 yet as things stand. 
Are they going to put boot the ball? Yes, they have, but it's been charged down. Now whose hands is that going to end up? And it's end up in Gala's hands and it's back in field. That's lovely play. And that is a try to Gala early in the second half. And it's Glenn McCrum who's been prominent in this game and that is no less than he's deserved. No, Glenn McCrum has had a phenomenal game. He's done a lot of dirty work and he's finally got his reward with his name on this try scoring sheet. But that was, it was a clearance kick there. It was a young Richie was trying to make his way out of their own 22. Liam Scott with the charge down. It, it, it could have gone anywhere. Unfortunately for Aberdeen, James. James Glendinning was the one that found the ball. He had a scrumptious offload there over the top of his tackle player. And as we said, Glenn McCrum was the man that got to put the ball down over the try line. Both props have had injuries for Aberdeen, but they've, they've held that one solidly on. But Mulholland's been caught by, I think that was Lachlan Johnson, but he's done well, Mulholland, the big number eight. He's, he's managed to secure possession for his side, and it's back with Knudsen. And Knudsen's found a decent touch there, actually. And that's going to bring play back out with the Aberdeen 22 and it's going to be a line out to Gala in and around the 10 metre line as the game Down. starts to open up, it's I'm been right won right at the tail by Liam Wilson, Niven Niven's got McAvenham, that's a lovely pass to Andrew Mitchell on the charge he's also came on, the big rangy utility back, Andrew Mitchell has that been pinched good. by Ten Aberdeen, yes it has good defensive work right nope. on the 22 by Aberdeen centre field, so here they come oh that's a big hit by Marius Thomas no hands now, on no what hands. was until then a rampaging Aberdeen forward speaking of which here comes another one but again he's been well dealt with by the Gala defence they've maybe made a metre or so Aberdeen now it's back to their captain, he's been industrious this afternoon, Ben Ingles, he's really led from the front in fairness and they're going to exit here or they're going to attempt to exit with a box kick from the scrum Go half on. Patrick Ritchie, now who's under this for Gala it's Keith Young, the winger, Keith Young's done well he's back on his feet and he's beat a couple of men and he's off Keith Young and he's got players he's got Callum Pate coming down the stand side solid challenge on Callum Pate but it's back in the hands of Angus Dunn now Penalty Angus Dunn to Thomas Yates, will he pass it? Offside, he, of Penalty course he will not and why would he when it takes three men to bring him down every time he touches it, there's an arm out here from the referee, so Rutherford's got a free play, Liam Scott well it's going to put his head back back well, here comes Rutherford Rutherford's got men over here on that far side it's Ben Gill, the winger, is Ben Gill going to be in on that far side? Ben Gill, he's in Ben Gill and that's a great try from Broken Play. That's that's phenomenal. It's intelligent rugby there, heads up personified. Liam Scott got tackled, knew the ruck was not going to get there in time, so he just pushed it back down the field and Harris Rutherford with a one-hand scoop to then carry the play round the, what would be the potential ruck and then Ben Gill takes two men over the line with him. You just can't stop a man that's that fist with that, that fast with that ben. strong legs from that far out. It's a try every time. Yeah, a couple of great interjections there by Harris Rutherford as well you mentioned before his passing his distribution has been really slick this afternoon and yeah and it's a good carry however by Mulholland he's been impre he's been an impressive campaigner in fairness now it's the substitute Mark Galloway that's a decent carry by him up to the Gala 22 so Aberdeen mounting the first meaningful attack of this second half it's nuts and with a little show and go there's men over for Aberdeen but the Gala defence has got over holding firm just inside their own 22 so here comes oh that's a huge huge hit one prop on another it was Amana it was Amanash was the recipient of that massive hit from Tamasitas but Aberdeen have main possession and they've inched forward into the penalty further into the Gala advantage. 22 Off and they're going to be the beneficiary of a Seven. penalty here there's a penalty and that's another big hit by the Gala player penalty advantage. I think that was Angus Dunn but again Aberdeen maintained possession Dunn flick Dunn flings himself at Ben Renton the winger who's in looking for work still. Now here comes the big number eight. I think that's Mulholland. Is Mulholland going to be over? No. Oh, he's almost had the ball ripped from his possession here, but I still think they're playing advantage, but they've trundled over Aberdeen. And that looks like a try for Mark Galloway. And yeah, that's deserved on the balance of play in the last few minutes. Yeah, it's definitely deserved on the willingness to take the hits they just suffered there. As, as we both pointed out in the commentary, I think they heard us gasp. There were some big hits put in by Gala there, but a real commitment and drive from the forward pack of Aberdeen there. Nudson did really well to marshal those two forward packs round the park to get themselves there. And then Nudson's just gone for the drop goal quickly. Nudson has indeed taken the conversion by way of a drop kick, being a wee bit more conservative in their play now, which, like I say, is completely understandable. That's a lovely... Rolling mall from Gala that's made 20 metres or so. Okay, now it's going to ground. Is it going to come back on the Gala side? Yes, it is. Niven feeds Ewan Dodds. So often plays at first receiver. Ewan Dodds, such as his, his skill set. But, but Mitchell's been caught in the midfield. So is that going to come back on the Gala side? Yes, indeed it is. Niven again. Niven to, Ru Niven to Rutherford. Rutherford's got a man on the outside. Decides to keep hold of it. 
as a boot comes flying out of the ruck. Nope, never on the ball. Is that, yes, it's come back on the gala Real side. On the feet. And it's going to be the hooker. Don't come round the side. Back now. Kyle Scott to feed this one out to Ewan Dodge. Now Ewan Dodge has got a runner, and that runner is Angus Dunn. And Angus Dunn has shrugged off an Aberdeen challenge. Bob has been knocked on by Gala. Now it's the youngster that we mentioned before, Oliver Finlayson. There's a Aberdeen player down in back play. He looked like he took a heavy knock in the challenge with Angus Dunn. Oh, and there's a wee bit of afters here going on between Stevie Cairns, never too far away when there's a, a bit of niggle, as they say. But here comes the Aberdeen prop, Amanash. He's carried manfully this afternoon. He's made 20 or so metres on that occasion. Doing well for his team. And here's another Aberdeen player that's went well. That's Paddy no, Mulholland. No, no, no. And again, it's back in the young the hands of this youngster, Oliver Finlayson. And Finlayson, oh, the smallest player Penalty on the park is hit hard by the biggest player on the park. But Finlayson rode that well from Tamasitis. Aberdeen no, maintaining no, possession. No, that's no, a long no, looping no, pass out towards the wing. Starting to play a bit of stuff here, Aberdeen. Starting to look a bit better. They maintain no, possession no, over no, on that far side. Time off in 18, please. 18. Too many pounds from you guys. It's a clear deliberate knock on. You're on a warning. Deliberate knock on. Okay. One hand knock on. Too many pounds from your team. Yeah, I think okay. he signalled that there was a palm down, a palm Ten, down in there, a one-handed palm quickly. somewhere okay, along no. the line, and it's Four. Stevie Cairns who off. trudges towards the touch line. There's not that much of him. Plenty of time to fill out, of course. Now it's back in the hands of the scrum. Have Richie from that line out to Nudson. Nudson round the back of Gaston. Decent move this by Aberdeen as they encroach into the gala 22. And it's the youngster again who is hit hard in the tackle. But again, he's put the ball back really well. And it's Aberdeen still in possession. Entering into the... Or trudging forward in the gala 22. Nudson again. Nudson has a dart himself this time. Looks for support and finds it. So is that a high shot from Gala, the referee looks like he thought about it Nudson, no, oh, McAvan is in there again during the disrupting no advantage. Ewan Dodds sends the ball halfway Stop. to Langley I understand he's ducking that doesn't make it not a high tackle, it means it's not a yellow card, behind the line the high tackle will be here scrum half feeds Got a little bit of a nudge on here, perhaps, in the scrum, Aberdeen. Mulholland it, holds it at his feet. Now, Mulholland goes. Will Mulholland go all the way here? No, he's met with a challenge by Rick, Harris Rutherford. I think it wasn't Rick, Harris Rutherford's Rick. come up with the ball somehow. And Harris Rutherford's oh, punted well. it down the park into the Aberdeen half. Great play by Rutherford. Now it's Aberdeen back here, and they're going to try and launch another attack here from deep through their fullback, Ross Cameron. Ross Cameron is well marshalled there, he's caught inside the Gala half, have Gala stolen that, Angus Dunn's in there, and Angus Dunn has indeed stolen it, and Angus Dunn has won a penalty, and that's great work. That is phenomenal there, the biggest embarrassment for Paddy Mohall in there, you see the opposition 10, which is conventionally the quote-unquote weaker position, there's no such thing as a weak position in rugby nowadays, as we all know, but if you run upright into the opposition 10 and get the ball ripped out of your hands, it's going to be a long bus journey back for Paddy Mohall and from the rest of the forwards. <laughs> indeed, but yeah, he's, he's, he's gone well this afternoon. Mulholland, he's put his bulk to good effect other than on that occasion of course but you know he's he, he's no shrinking violet Harris Rutherford he's a, he's a well put together young man as well opportunity for Gala to mount something the game is Five in the ball. bag the bonus point is in the bag That's so right. they are just That's looking right, for you. points differential here which could of course one team going up be ever so crucial come the end but again they've made a mess of the line it's gone right over the top and it's taken in by the Aberdeen player now Aberdeen have made some yards here they're up towards the Gala 10 metre, a good couple of carries there by Aberdeen, and it's Richie. their scrum half still on the field, now Aberdeen looking to come from deep here, good tackle by Mitchell on Craig Shepard, and it's that youngster again, Oliver Finlayson, he's been game since he came on, there's been a knock on in there somewhere by Gala, as indicated by referee Scott Cubitt, so putting it through the hands now Aberdeen, and again it's Yasin Amanash, the hard carrying prop, Inside ball there to Craig Shepard, the centre, he's on the hoof. Okay, advantage Aberdeen over. looking a bit more direct in their play now. But it's been has that been palmed down or knocked on? Is that a legitimate knock on? Either way, Aberdeen are still in possession. There's advantage coming as they encroach into the gala half for the first time in a wee while. So it's a good half break there by their stand of Nudson. And again he finds Amanash. This willing prop. Again, Nudson. Nudson's got men out wide. 
Oh, but I think he's going to be bundled into touch is Craig Shepard, the centre, but the referee's going to bring them back. He's not seen enough advantage there. Number four! Where's four? Off you go, says a little bit knock on, there's an overlap out wide. Yeah, must have been palmed down. Given to Bruff. Bruff trucks it, but he's met with a wall of Aberdeen players and he's marched back a metre or so. So, centre field, McAvena feeds it. That's a break there by Ben Gill, and it's a clean break by get Ben Gill. Now, Ben Gill's got men on his outside. Oh, and it was good defence. Mitchell, however, Mitchell has found Keith Young. Is Keith Young in at the corner? No, the referee deems, I think, that Keith Young did not score that. He's going to speak to the touch judge. I'm going to go with your decisions. You you have high flags up. So you want to touch? Are you in touch, yeah. Okay, it's in touch, flag is up. No try, but the full time whistle goes here at Netherdale, and it's a convincing win for Gala in the Tenants National League 1 by 34 points to 12 against Aberdeen Grammar. An Aberdeen Grammar side who battled manfully in the second half, given that the game was out of the reach probably 10 minutes into the, the second stanza. But yes, yeah, six tries for Gala, and they march on two five pointers. They have 10 points, and they'll be happy enough. Yeah, it was good. Good, good run out from the boys. Um, we knew Aberdeen coming down would be a stuffy side. Um, a lot of errors from us, but that's that's expected. Obviously, second game into the season, uh, they put us under a lot of pressure, um, and we just didn't capitalise. We did for the bonus point, but we, it could have been a lot more. So that's two wins from two. How are you feeling going to next week's game against Dundee? Yeah, good. As I said, um, the boys were in a circle at the end of the game and we looked at it, it was 34-12 and it could have been a lot more, as we said, and it was that was on us, our errors. Um, so I think it's just getting down Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, I think it's going to be a big contact session about the breakdown, just getting those foundations right um, and going up to our first away game at Dundee.